Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Code Forty Five Show. Today, or tonight, or whatever, did tonight, but or today I have your WWE Clash of Champions Twenty Sixteen predictions. My, my the nappiest here. My predictions. This clean ass AJ Styles shirt. So we're start with the pre-show. We got one pre-show match. We have eight matches in the card. More and more matches on the card than what SmackDown has. At their pay per view, like when they had a backlash, it was like five, six, maybe it was like five or six matches on the card. This is eight to so the pre show match. We have Alicia Fox versus Nia Jax for a singles match. Um, they built up this feud that uh, Nia Jax was just gonna just fight jobbers, which are like local competitors, whatever state they have, we're all at. And she beat them all, and Alicia Fox got all pissed because she beat up one of her friends that she knew. At one of the events, a local competitor, but it was Alicia Fox's friend, and she got beat up. And then she goes backstage and throwing shit at her, and then they, and then they start a feud that way, so they she started throwing gloves and shit at her. So and then that's when they started a feud that way. Um, so we'll see. But I'm gonna go for Alicia Fox. I'm not being mean. Don't want the home girl to win. I don't know. The homegirl's Nia Jax. She's from San Diego, California. I'm from San Diego, California. We're going for Alicia Fox to try to pick up this one year, but I know it's not going to happen. But, anyways. Then we have TJ Perkins versus Brian Kendrick for the singles match for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. That's a nice belt. It's not like um, the original ones back in the day. This one's a nice one. It's purple. I just like I like the leather. I like the design. It's freaking awesome. Do it. Triple H and all them did a freaking phenomenal job. And West Coast Choppers, West Coast Customs Choppers. Thanks for the freaking awesome, awesome trophy. I think it's badass. I'm gonna go for Brian Kendricks. I've always been watching Brian Kendricks since back in the WWE days, WF days when he was freaking huge and big and popular. I watch the Cruiserweight Classic when I can. It's just hard because I really don't have the WWE network, so everybody posts videos or whatever. Alright, that's the time I get to watch him, so I'm going for Brian Kendrick over TJ Perkins. And you, you, you know who trained? You know, you know who Brian Kendrick trained? Eva, Eva Marie. She had a couple NXT matches, and that's it. I don't think she's with WWE anymore, NXT. Oh, yeah, she was with WWE, and she never fought, so I don't know what the hell she's doing now. But yeah, then she did that Brian Kendrick movie where you like do like uh like you run up the turnbuckle and do a flip. Kendrick does that, so Brian Kendrick hit that flippy move. <clears throat> I don't know what's called, but it's like a flippy move and that's what they're gonna do. Then we have Cesaro versus Sheamus, the final match. The final match of the Best of the Seven series. What I what do I think about that match? Um I think um Cesaro's been picking up the win. He's been very hot lately. He's been on fire lately in these matches. He's just been killing it lately. In the last couple of matches, I didn't see. There's one match that they had. No, that a house show. So nobody could have saw it. But taking was it Sheamus who won that one or Cesaro? I don't remember. But I didn't see. No, they don't. They didn't show it. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a crazy crazy match. I'm gonna go for Cesaro this one. I, I, He's been killing it lately. He's high. He's on fire. He's been lighting up the crowd. Um, he's gonna hit the the God's neutralizer and just three clean in the ring. He wins the best of seven series. But what what happens if he wins that series? Does he get a medal? Does he get a trophy? What happens? Or what happens if are they gonna make it a best of eight, nine, ten, and then keep on going if Cesaro wins and do what what? Seamus can just turn heel and backstab and beat him up again. I don't know. I, I I don't know, I can't tell you guys, but it's, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good match. We'll see what happens. If Mick Foley comes on today, where to go, Cesaro or something, I don't know. And then we have a couple other matches, so Cesaro's going to pick up the win. So let me go down the line. So the pre show match, Lisa Fox over Nia Jax. Brian Kendrick over TJ Perkins to be your new WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Um, Cesaro over Sheamus. And now we have Sami Zayn versus Chris Jericho in a singles match. That's also going to be a freaking awesome match. Two great performers, two great entertainer athletes out there in the wrestling world. Um, 
according to Chris Jericho on my life since I was a little kid back in WWF, WWE days. But I'm gonna go with Sami Zayn. So when Sami Zayn needs a push, needs a good, um, needs a good win, because he's not fighting Kevin Owens this time or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. He's gonna hit him with the um, moving kick, boot on the bomb, one, two, three. If, but yeah, one, two, three, clean the ring. Sami Zayn wins. Nothing to it but to do it, Sami. You got this, man. I'm pulling, pulling up for you. Then we have, we going some. Cha then we have a uh, little some championship matches. We have Rusev versus with Lana versus Roman Reigns. It's a singles match for the United Champion. Um, for some reason, really get a shot to go for the for the Universal Title. He's going toward for the United States Title. They had this before, and uh, Roman loses. So they've been defeating for a while, for a long, t for like months ago, and Roman still lost. I don't know why they're doing this because he didn't get no shot at the at the Universal. So he had to go for for um, Rusev. Rusev has been on Raw. I mean, when he finally came back, what a couple months ago, a month ago or something, he finally came back after the, him and Lana were on a big ass freaking honeymoon vacation. Like, where have you been, Rusev? Come on. You have to be on the show to show your title. You can't. You should just like relinquish that title and give it to Roman. You haven't been on lately, so fuck. Um. So. I'm going with Roman Reigns on this one. It's a clear, clear shot that Roman Reigns is going to pick up the win. This is, this is no joke. Um, Roman Spear. Superman punches and Spear. It's going to be, it's going to be one hell of a fight. We're going to, we're going to see a battle on that match. It's going to be a battle, guys. Watch out. I'm saying no SmackDown. I'm saying no SmackDown promotion. They just have you know, SmackDown promotion, but um, yeah. So the next pay-per-view will be uh, No Mercy, and that's going to be in Sacramento. I wish I could go, but it's like, it's really up north. It's like, from here, where I live, it's about like, could be like eight hour drive. Could be, it could be a long drive. Um, let's see the different, but I've got tickets for that, and it's, it's coming up soon. So then we have, so Rusev is going to lose. I'm going to be a new WWE United States Champion. If not, you guys can leave in the comments. You guys can tell me. And I'll probably have my final reactions video for you guys on Sunday after the pay per is over. When I, yeah, I'll be home Sunday, so yeah. I have to watch a little bit of football and then the pay per view. Yeah, I'll watch. Um, so Roman Reigns, new WWE United States Champion. He's going to he's gonna pull it off. I have faith in you, Roman, because you've been dying to get a title after you lost it. To Daniel Bryan, not to da Did I say Daniel Bryan. Sorry, to Dean Ambrose with that heel turn, just boom. So you deserve a title. So Roman Reigns gonna win. Then we have Sasha Banks versus Bailey versus Charlotte for the Triple Seven WWE Raw Women's Championship. I know it's gonna happen. I know it. Maybe that Bro Broke is gonna come out. Then Broke is gonna come out. Something might happen with that. Or, or maybe Ric Flair might come out, or some other partner might come out. Who knows? Maybe you know the NXT Women's Superstar is going to come out and like interfere in the match and help Sasha Banks win or help Bailey win. Who knows? I don't know. But I'm going to go with Sasha Banks because you know why? Because Sasha Banks lost the title to Charlotte at the last pay per view. Was it SummerSlam? It was SummerSlam. At the last review, SummerSlam. And I think she's going to. I want Bailey to win so bad, but I don't think Bailey's gonna get it. And then if Sasha Banks wins, right? Um, then they're gonna—I think they're gonna do um, a rematch feud, Sasha Banks and Bailey again. That'd be awesome to see that. That'd be awesome to see that Sasha Banks versus Bailey again in the matches. They pull off fucking amazing matches like you see at NXT Takeovers. And it was the two takeovers they had that they did Brooklyn and the other one was the takeover the end. They just pull off like an amazing match. If I can see Bailey and Sasha Banks go at it again, that'd be awesome for the for the women's title. That'd be one of the best matches in Charlotte. So I think Sasha Banks is gonna pull it off just to retain her just to retain her throne. She needs it back. If Charlotte wins then it's way by cheating because that's the way she does because her father is the dirtiest player in the game of the history of our sport. Anyways, 
So Sasha Banks, let's go down the line here. We got Alicia Fox over Nia Jax in the pre-show. We got Brian Kendrick over TJ Perkins to be the new W Cruiserweight Champion. We got Cesaro over Sheamus. We have Sami Zayn over Chris Jericho. We have Rusa. We have Roman Reigns over Rusa to be a new W United States Champion. Then we have Sasha Banks beating Charlotte and Bailey to be a triple threat to be a new Royal Women Champion. Then we have the New Day. Versus Luke Gals and Anderson for the W Titans. I think the New Day are going to pick it up, pick up the win again. So if Gals and Anderson win, good for them. Then AJ Styles will be happy for him, and they both they all have titles. Um, AJ Styles has the you know, W Heavyweight Championship. Then uh, Gals and Anderson have the tag titles, so they'll both be reigning gold. But the New Day are going to pull off again. New Day rocks. New Day rocks. New Day rocks. They're going to pull it off. Unless they enter Big E, Kofi Kingston, and they're with again to get that. Um, Get that testicle injury again. Who knows? I don't know, but the New Day are going to pick up the win. It's going to be a freaking hell of a match. But the New Day are going to retain. They're not going anywhere. They're staying there. On some bootios for life. So then we have the final match. Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins for the WWE United for the Championship. I know what's going to happen in this match. Kevin Owens is going to win. And Triple H is going to come out again in pedigree. Seth Rollins again. And Kevin Owens is going to retain. He's going to be a new Universal Champion. I think it's going to happen again. I think Triple H is going to come out. Freaking screw Seth Rollins over again. Unless Triple H comes out and does it to Kevin Owens this time. And Seth Rollins has the title. But I think since he's been feuding with a little bit. Like having little talks and crap with uh, Stephanie. I think Kevin Owens is going to win. I think Kevin Owens is the best fit for all. It's the Kevin Owens Raw show, not the not Seth Rollins Raw show. So then Kevin Owens is going to retain. It's going to be one hell of a pay-per-view. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also, I want to know what you guys think. Um, what do you guys think of my predictions? Let me know if you like them. If not, leave in the comments down below. Let me know who's going to win this Sunday. And also, stay tuned for my final results video. That will probably be Sunday after the pay-per-view. Then stay tuned for my next pay-per-view predictions. will be No Mercy. Then after No Mercy, then our next preview prediction will be Hell in the Cell. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys see the poster, it has like every athlete on it. It has um, Charlotte, Kevin Owens. So it has, all the, it has basically all the championships. It has Kevin Owens, Charlotte, Rusev, and the New Day. That's the poster it looks like. So you know who's going to win? It's going to be at Banker's Life, Banker's Life House in Indianapolis. We'll see. And there's also a football game in Indianapolis. The Colts play the San Diego Chargers, so we'll see about that one. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like and subscribe. If you enjoyed, let me know what you guys think. If you haven't done the race, subscribe to my channel. I'd like to have you. You can become a 45er. I'd like to have you on my channel. If you're not a 45 already, subscribe. If you're just here to watch and you're not a 45er, you're just a regular viewer. But anyway, drop a like on this video, subscribe, whatever you got to do. See so you guys see my champs and 45 in the next video. Stay tuned for the final results on Sunday. I'll probably do my next video. And then maybe I might do one Saturday. I don't know. But my next video will probably be Sunday. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later. Peace.